Hey, welcome to Live Hive, where you can stay up to date with the latest updates about marketing, sales, and business. With email marketing being the most reliable form of communication for 77% of consumers, sending a newsletter is essential to growing brand awareness and building an audience. To achieve your marketing goals, it is necessary to closely monitor email newsletter analytics and adjust your campaign along the way. Today, we'll find the primary indicators that help improve the performance of email marketing. So, the value of email marketing in your digital marketing campaigns has been proved. But to make sure it brings as much value to your business as it can, you need to be sure your performance is optimized. Having a marketing report that is tracking the proper email marketing KPIs is of the utmost importance since it allows you to make sure that your emails are being open and get the traffic, conversions, and sales that you are aiming for. Without proper tracking, your email performance can become nothing less than a monumental waste of time. Even worse, they can have a negative effect by increasing your unsubscribe rate, as we'll see a little later. Tracking your different KPIs provides you a much better chance of determining what is bringing your strategies down and working best. Therefore, give yourself time to adjust your email campaigns, tweak different things like your subject lines, call to action, email design, segmentation, and more. To create your marketing report right now, track your email performance and include these nine essential email marketing key performance indicators to get the most out of your email campaigns. Number one, list size and growth. Grow your email list is to grow your business. Whether you are collecting emails from customers or capturing emails from website visitors, the larger your email list, the more potential customers you can reach to grow sales. It's the next best thing to revenue. Keep track of this straightforward but essential metric by using your email service provider to see how many new subscribers you have added on a weekly or monthly basis, or between your most recent broadcast emails. Number two, number of subscribers. This email marketing metric tells you the number of people who have opted to receive promotional or marketing emails from you. Fundamentally, it is a measure of how many potential eyeballs will see your email marketing efforts, monitoring your list growth rate. The number of new subscribers and your unsubscribe rate can gauge the level of interest in your products or services. You need to keep your number of subscribers as high as possible and ensure a low churn rate. Also. Keep this number in mind once you do campaigns to pick up new subscribers for your pamphlet, contests, or other marketing efforts to grow your subscriber list. Number three, open rate. The open rate tells you how many people on your email list open a campaign email you sent out. A few things affect open email rates, such as the bounce rate, subject line of the email, the relevance of the email to your target audience, or whether the emails are ending up in the spam folder instead of the inbox. So, this is one of the most important metrics to track to optimize your campaigns. If you see your open rate declining, you will want to investigate a bit further and fix any issues. Number four, click-through rate. This critical metric measures the total number of subscribers who clicked a link in one of your emails. There are two main types of click-through rates you can measure. Number one, Total click-through rate. Number two, unique click-through rate. It is generally best to focus on the unique click-through rate, which measures the number of people who clicked on links rather than the total number of clicks an email has received. After all, what you wanna know is how many people were attracted by your email or offer, not how many times they clicked on it. Number five, number of email bounces. Bounces have to do with mail deliverability. An email bounces when it cannot convey to a recipient for a few reasons or another. There are two kinds of bounces, hard bounces and soft bounces. Hard bounces occur when there is no possible way for the email message to be delivered, such as when the email address no longer exists. On the other hand, soft bounces mean there is just a temporary reason for non-delivery, such as when the recipient's inbox is full. You will want to ensure good email list hygiene and delete email addresses that result in a hard bounce. Number six, website traffic. Email marketing is just one piece of the perplex. You need to be aware of how all your marketing channels from SEO to social media influence one another. Ultimately, the objective of an email marketing methodology separated from lead generation is to bring in site traffic and conversions. 
Tracking how your email marketing campaigns affect web traffic with dashboards tracking Google Analytics data is a simple and effective solution for ensuring you are getting optimal results. Make sure you are tracking not only your overall traffic, but your traffic by medium, as well as a month over month or year over year comparison to see the trends. Number seven, number of unsubscribes. The unsubscribe rate appears so you know how many people have unsubscribed from one of your email promoting campaigns. Of course, your number one objective is to hold your subscribers as much as possible. To do so, you should examine a few of the possible reasons for an increase in the number of unsubscribes, such as sending emails frequently or showing irrelevant content. Number eight, number of conversions. This email metric tells you how many people clicked on a link in your email and then took the desired actions, such as purchasing on your e-commerce website. The number of conversions and your conversion rate is critical metrics you should always have your eye on since they can directly impact your return on investment and your business goals. There are many ways you can improve your newsletter design conversions, your CTAs, or your promotions. You can also try to segment your audience better to send relevant promotions or information to each person, depending on their profile. Number nine, revenue. Revenue is of course how much cash is coming in the door. What percentage of your store's total gain can be attributed to email marketing? Sanaki tells us many successful stores he has seen get about 20% of their total revenue from their email channel. Track all these KPIs in a marketing report by utilizing an Excel spreadsheet or Google Sheet, and copy-paste all this information each month from your different platforms – MailChimp, Campaign Monitor, HubSpot, or Google Analytics. You may also utilize an automated reporting tool to keep track of this information without having to do it yourself each month. Now that you know a few of the most important metrics to track for email marketing, you hopefully have a better understanding of what makes a campaign successful. More importantly, you can now get a complete picture of your marketing efforts and hopefully your next campaign will gain even better results. Tracking these metrics should be done after every campaign, whether deemed a success or a failure. Over time, you can compare metrics to identify your marketing problems, solutions, and aspects that resonate with your subscribers. You're all set. These are the essential marketing KPIs you need to track for your email performance reports to adjust your email marketing campaigns accordingly. Make sure to track all this data every month and you will be all set to have successful campaigns. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe so you can join the Live Hive Squad and be part of our channel. Thank you for watching.